Okay, so left a little me of a mess here last night. But I went to the store, Harbor Freight, of course, and I got this guy. It was like $35. It's wireless, but it's a rechargeable battery, and they come with a plug-in for the wall and a plug-in for a car, 12-volt adapter, which is pretty cool. And it's pretty bright. Last night was ridiculous. I couldn't see anything. So I bought those and I splurge because I'm sick of using hand tools for literally everything. I got this guy, which I've used. I actually have a snap on 3 8 impact in the other shop. And that thing died on me. I paid like $500 for it. Died on me like six months in. And Snap-on wanted $300 to fix it. So. And then my Mac kind of walked away. So, gotta get some tools. I heard Bauer's pretty good. So let's give it a shot. Kind of hook. Here's the actual tool. I decided to get the this attachment because it's like universal for screws and all kinds of stuff. You can get drill bit attachments. And then I got the fast charger. Quarter, three eighths and a half inch drive and this battery. I will get the battery on the charger. And looking at this, I just came from Harbor Freight and driving to town's like 20 minute ordeal or more. More like an hour. But gotta go back. I need magnets to get the retainers out. I don't even want to take that apart until I have everything I need. I'm gonna get this on the charger and then go back to town. Oh, nice. I may have just done that. That's not the best. Yeah, it's fine. Cool, I'm gonna put this on the charger and we'll plug it in. Go to town. Got him. Only took an hour and a half to make another stop, but <clears throat> that's how this project's going. Okay, bear with me here. 
but this is how this project's going. See the tensioner? See how you put a star socket in there? And then you're able to fire the tensioner that way, goes this way. Or yeah, sorry, I'm dyslexic. You push the wrench this way and it'll push this guy this way and release tension. Then you're able to get down to here and you undo that bolt. Sorry about this. And there's a bolt at the bottom. And that will free you up to be able to hit the bolt that is hiding behind there to get this last piece off. And then the disassembly of the scary stuff. This car is very frustrating. I've gone to town for different tools four times now, which I mean, it's not too terrible, I guess, but it's a little bit of a drive and man, it makes stuff go slow. Once again, I got to go back into town, but I got the spark plugs out. And as you can see, this cylinder, was burning a good amount of oil. It looks like this cylinder is really burning it. So both heads, these are in order. This is bank one, bank two. So both sides need valve stem seals. I was gonna do all of them anyways, but three cylinders are smoking on this one. So now, I gotta go into town and get a big old metric socket to turn the crankshaft. And then I'm gonna set it to drop dead center. And if you can see down in there, but you gotta take this oil line off, which is right here, and then the whole thing lifts off. It's a banjo, so you gotta keep it. You take this guy off and then you crack these loose and you should be able to take these both these gears off and just like tie the chain off. And that should, this whole assembly comes off and then you just take the caps off like a normal head on that side. And yeah, getting there sure is annoying having this stop. I had to get that T55 earlier. Man, this guy. That's what you need for the alternator, or for the serpentine belt tensioner. Okay, so in this kit that has the cam timing, there's a pin, and you put your motor at top dead center, and then you pin it, and it goes through the crank pulley into the um case the front timing cover and it comes with these two pieces these are jigs pretty much for the cams and there's these slots on the cams and this is like i'm verifying this is the exhaust side and this side is at top dead center and so is this side see it it sits level on the head I'm doing this because this is like an eBay kit. I want to verify that when I put it back together, it's going to go back together correctly. So it is. So now I'm comfortable with that knowledge. I'm going to pull this oil line. Well, first, I'm going to reevaluate my cart here and put all my hand wrenches into the actual toolbox and then this cart is going to become where I put all the parts off of the, these cams because you don't want any of this stuff to get dirty you want to clean it as you're going 
So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And then I will start disassembling that. So I got my area to put all of these that's clean. And I just opened a brand new pair of gloves because this is all sensitive. You don't want your nasty old greasy gloves you use to disassemble everything to get a bunch of schmutz in your motor. It's never good. Time lapse time. Okay, so I've done half the bank, the front half. Um, these are the valve stem seals. This is the old one. See how much larger the hole is? That is because the oil, the rubber that BMW uses swells. If you see, this is really hard. I'm pressing pretty hard with my thumb. Whereas this guy, nice and soft so it's gonna actually be tight around the valve stem and seal that's why you're replacing it I'm gonna do one just on the video it's really awkward and kind of hard to get to again I don't know if I mentioned this before but this job takes a lot of patience this is day three given I've had to go to town like five or more times and that's an hour each time I do that but it's just it's a lot of steps and you gotta go slow so you don't break anything so unless you're confident with your skills and you're willing to mess something up and have to take everything apart drop a retainer inside the motor and go for it otherwise this really isn't for the faint hearted um kind of regretting doing this if it goes together and it all works maybe i'll do it again one day but not in the near future watch me have to do the 550 but here we go I've found that having a pipe helps a tremendous amount. But you get it on there. There's a retainer. This is what I'm talking about. The other retainer fell behind the valve spring. So you gotta be real careful this moment in time. Oh, it's still in the, okay. Duh, let me see release. You don't have to use this pipe, but if you don't have somebody helping you, it gets tiring quickly.
I had to spin the keeper around. It wants the magnet wants to go everywhere, but where you need it to. But there we go. There's the second retainer, your keeper. And here's the spring with the retainer on top. Here's a better look at those pullers I have. They don't work on all of them because of the body of the car gets in the way. But it just pulls it out. And then here's the little, the new valve stem seal. So there's the new one installed. Oh jeez. I apologize if you can't see literally anything. I'm not able to watch the camera and do this at the same time. I'm working a lot. So see, I put a little bit of grease on the tip of a screwdriver and then see it's holding their keeper on and I put a little bit of grease on the keeper. You're gonna have that with the air compressor compressing the valve shut. But I have that ready. Yeah, with this tool, I started, you gotta make sure that you're not hitting the valve and push it down. Yeah, that's on there like that, press. Be able to stick it on the valve and then spin it around so it's on the back. And then you can release it. Here's the second one. There you go. That valve stem's been replaced and the keepers are in. Well, it's going to be a three part, maybe even a four part video. I got the first three cylinders done, and then I had to move this guy right here this back one took me like 30 minutes it's now seven at night i'm gonna call it for today i'm gonna do that one and then i'm assemble the whole thing and on the other side i'm gonna do the back cylinder first just to get it out of the way and then the rest will be easier and i still gotta get seals for these guys my nice cart has become a mess of oil and tools but these seals need to be replaced they go on the front covers i believe this is the solenoids to activate the variable valve timing i don't 
I honestly don't know. They're important, though. They need to not leak. Got to get those seals ordered. And luckily for me, the timing guides, I believe, have been replaced. They look like new. So I'm not going to do the chain or the guides. And then this car will be on its way to going back together. Sure hope it doesn't smoke after all this.